So Uverse can run through the Xbox itself so, now? So Uverse can. So first of all, what you're seeing here is not Uverse. It's our own, you know, fake TV service. Got it. Okay. Right? Which is why it says Contoso everywhere. But certainly AT&T is, you know, a very important Microsoft Media Room customer. And they have a very large number of subscribers in the U.S., especially in the Chicago area and throughout the U.S. Um, love them for that. And what we really have is a system here with Microsoft Media Room that can deliver TV across a multitude of endpoints. And a lot of those AT&T is using today, although not all of them. So there is, starting kind of from your traditional service, this is your traditional set-top box, home service, that you, Joe, should be familiar with. Okay? It's AT&T and basically any of the operators we work with. This is a, a service we offer through operators, not directly as Microsoft. Uh, but when we partner with them, they have some sort of a broadband connection to their end customers. And in this case, AT&T uses DSL, VDSL technology, but it's, it's a connection to the home. And that's all that really matters. What we deliver is high quality TV services live, on demand, interactive applications as well. Um, and in this case, it starts with the set-top box connected to the TV. Now, some of the neat things about Uverse are that, you know, we, we can support hundreds and hundreds of HD and SD channels. We have some, you know, unique capabilities like almost instant channel change. There's no time here required to retune to a channel. I think there's actually something there. Apparently there's no snow in Utah. Um, but uh, we've got... You know, DVR capabilities, the ability to record multiple shows at once. And in this case, you know, what AT&T allows you to do is record up to four shows simultaneously on one box. The beautiful thing about what we do is it's all IP within the home. So we can actually distribute that content to other set-top boxes. We have what we call whole home DVR. So you record on one box, you don't worry about where it is, and it can play back anywhere. Okay? Um, that's kind of your basic TV service that's won AT&T JD Powers Awards for the past three years running. Um, as the best consumer TV service. All right. Now, we have capabilities to deliver interactive applications on top of that. Um, so, we have a, a, a development community of third-party developers. Um, in this case, this is a, a demo from ES3 up in Canada, uh, but there are certainly a number of other developers, and they build interactive applications that the operator can choose to put on their, their TV. AT&T had something on their service called Santa Track. They offer it every Christmas, and it's a way of just engaging the consumer in a different sort of interactive experience on the TV. Okay? Uh, so that's some of the other things we can do with Media Room. And the nice thing is, these applications, these interactive applications that we're running, if you're a developer, they're really cool because they're basically just ASP.NET, right? And the nice thing is, um, it's very easy to change on the server, and you don't have to push a whole new application down to the set-top box. So very easy for the developer and the operator to work together to change that service, keep it fresh, and do all sorts of interesting things. Okay? So, leaving that application for a minute. You've seen live TV, you know how a DVR works, everyone knows how that works. We do also have a fairly rich video on demand offering uh, from Media Room. And basically it allows you to take a look at a very graphical storefront of, of on-demand videos. ATT has several thousand on-demand videos, for example, that are available. Um, you know, we can work through it and take a look at what's available in terms of different categories, whether it's a TV category or trailers or movies. And we could actually watch something uh, fairly rich information that you can get, whether it's the actual summary or the cat. Let's see, you got a point down there. The uh, cast and crew information. Uh, all sorts of you know, deep experience you'd expect. Now the beautiful thing, that's all TV stuff. It's cutting edge, right? It, it's it's uh, a great customer experience, but what we like to do is go beyond just the set-top box and the TV experience. So we also have the same experience available on the Xbox. And AT&T does actually offer Uber service to the Xbox, right? And you'll, you'll notice that it's very similar, right? The guy, right? If it goes to the guide, if I hit the right button. You know, the guide is the same guide. And if I go to channel 1013, 
time on this one. So, peace. Move to real time. So, one of the things that we also can do with the TV service, where is Guy? Is on some channels we can go backwards in time, so we can actually offer the ability to catch up on TV that you haven't seen. You missed it. Without, okay, setting, it's all without setting the DVR. Without setting the DVR. So that's if you if you if the operators enabled that capability in the cloud, basically you can go back in time. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, now the other things that, that you can how do, do you switch if you go your right from the exports Xbox Live dashboard to that? To which? To this? Like, no, to this. Will that be like a channel for the Xbox Live? Yeah. yeah, so if I go to the dashboard here. This is basically a no dashboard. So it's just an app on the dashboard. It's, it's an app, right? It's an app within it. And once you go to the app, that's awesome. There you are. So if I have full TV experience, if I have AT&T Uverse and I have an Xbox, do I have an option today? Yes. To enable this, as long as it's an Xbox 360. Some of us, hello, only recently upgraded our old, old, old Xbox to an Xbox 360. But now that I have, I can get it. At, uh, I can get it at home too. So um, yeah, you can get the exact same thing. Uh, what you're seeing sometimes there's a little bit of stuttering and sometimes some looped video just because we're doing a demo here rather than sure. offering a real service. But uh, AT&T typically rates very highly on the quality of their video service. We have some proprietary technologies within the media room suite that allow us to make sure we deliver error-free video to your home. Okay. Right? And that's one of the nice things about Microsoft Media Room as a, as a set of capabilities. Um, so where does the mobile uh, device Here is mobile. Play? So here is a Windows Phone 7. And we've got a Contoso TV, or in AT&T's case, AT&T Uverse Mobile, that they just launched on November 7th. Um, I know that because I had a very busy year leading up to November 7th um, with AT&T. But this is, you know, again, exactly the same thing. If you look, it's the on-demand storefront that you've got on the, that we saw over here. But does AT&T essentially, act, as part of your service, you're paying for app the use to be able to use it on your mobile phone, right? It's not included, or is it um, bundled in one? So, so again, that, that's a business model question for the operator themselves. In AT&T's case, um, 